Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here, welcome back to Gents Sense. Hope that you're doing well. Uh, let's take another trip down Clone Lane. Today we're gonna be taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Maison Alhambra. Crazy expensive one, crazy expensive. It ran me $15. So actually clearance bin pricing, basically. It's this guy right here, Maison Alhambra, Victorioso Victory. I, uh, I don't know, maybe you could have come up with a different name. I don't know. Victorioso Victory. Hmm, not great. Victory, victory, essentially. You can just take a look at this and know immediately what they're doing. Uh, I mean, didn't look at it. This is a clone of Paco Rabanne's Invictus victory victorioso victory invictus victory i also ordered two more from this line victorioso and victorioso legend i don't have them in yet but i'm pretty sure you can guess what those are gonna be invictus and invictus legend so i'll check those out in a future video for this one we're just gonna stick to this guy right here. So like I said, about 15 bucks. I will have it linked in the description, but crazy stupid cheap don't mean nothing if the fragrance sucks. So that's what we're gonna talk about here today, whether this is worth that little bit of buckage. Buckage, that's not a word. I'll have this linked in the description along with Invictus Victory in case you wanna check them out down below. And in case you wanna check out some codes, here are some codes that you can check out. Reminder that for Lucky Scent, the code is changing to gents for October. So 2023 gents will no longer work. Gents 10 though will get you 10% off of Lucky Scent. And then all the other codes are the same. You can find the Victorioso fragrances on Triple Traders. Uh, there is a code of course for that gents scent 10% off on that website. But at Triple Traders, it looked like they were 30 bucks for the Victorioso fragrances. That's not where I bought mine. Obviously, if you can find it for 15, that's gonna be the move, not 30. So yeah, Maison Alhambra, back at it, you know, coming out with the clones that are just really obviously letting you know right away what they are. Although to be fair, I do typically prefer that uh, for clones like this instead of trying to make it seem like it's something it's not. Just, just let us know. We'll kick things off by taking a look at the presentation and then jump into the fragrance itself and I will let you know if it is indeed a good alternative to victory. So here we have the box, a blatant copy of Invictus victory uh, you've got the name of the house the name of the fragrance right there on the front eau de parfum concentration 100 mil size maison alhambra up top nothing on the side other than that kind of a line design on the back you have the ingredients and the sticker of authenticity up in the corner and on the bottom your badge code and barcode and the box does have a little bit of that almost rubberized feel to it uh, that some fragrance boxes have where it's like almost rubber over top of cardboard and here we have the bottle. Uh, and I gotta say, I'm disappointed in you guys. You didn't give me somehow an even tackier fragrance bottle than Invictus. You know, sometimes with uh, clone fragrances, they just give you a horrifically ugly looking bottle. And uh, I just wanted an uglier trophy, but you know, we'll roll with this one. So you have on the front there, Maison Alhambra Victorioso Victory, nothing on back. It has the same gradient style as Invictus Victory. On the bottom, you have a sticker and then the cap slides into place. And it's pretty heavy as well, which you can tell just by looking at the glass on the bottom there, very thick. And you know what time it is. It is time to spray. So let's go ahead and share a couple sprays here. Atomizer is okay. Uh, definitely not the best, but there are way worse uh, atomizers of different clone fragrances out there. Mm. Spray this one too. In the name of science. Mm -hmm. Huh. 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 So I love Invictus Victory. Absolutely love it. And Invictus Victory Elixir, I love even more. Unfortunately, Invictus Victory Elixir, you can't find for a really good discount at discounters at this point. So we'll just say in general that right now, as of when I'm shooting this video, Invictus Victory is gonna run you about 70 bucks at discounters in the US. Could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more, whether you get a tester or the full presentation. And we're talking 100 mil bottle size there so that we're comparing the same size here. For a 50 mil, you could probably pick that up for like 55 or something, I would guess, for Invictus Victory. But again, Victorioso Victory over here, about 15. So even at $60, that would be four times less for this 
than this. But as I said at the beginning of the video, the question is, is it actually good enough to really be a replacement for Invictus Victory? Because it doesn't really matter if this is four times cheaper, if it smells four times cheaper, right? You're wanting something that's a good bang for your buck if you're looking for a clone fragrance. I think most people would agree with that. Well, in terms of the scent profile of Victorioso Victory, I gotta tell you guys, just in terms of um, a one-to-one -one clone, like a fragrance that's not really trying to be a twist on something. And I know some of you out there will be like, well, what do you mean a twist, right? So I'm gonna give you an example that pretty much everybody is going to recognize Club de Nuit Intense Man by Armand. Everybody is in agreement that Club de Nuit Intense Man is trying to smell like Creed Aventus, a Creed Aventus style fragrance. But if you spray Club de Nuit Intense Man here, and you spray Aventus here, you're not gonna get the two confused. You're gonna smell Club de Nuit Intense Man and be like, okay, that's the Armoff. You're gonna smell Ventus, that's the Creed. Because while they are similar and you would use them at similar times, they're different fragrances, right? They're not a one-to-one. -one. You're never gonna smell one and confuse it for the other if you have them both sprayed on at the same time. Club de Nuit Intense Man is a twist on the Aventus style of fragrance. It has that lemon that comes through in the opening as compared to the pineapple that comes through on Aventus, for example. Now, these fragrances here are absurdly close, like stupid close. This is not a twist of this. This is just straight up 100% trying to emulate Invictus Victory. Like that is just basically trying to do talented Mr. Ripley of this. The funny thing is I'm not pretending to be somebody else and you are. So when you spray these on, whether we're talking on your skin or on tester strips and you smell them, they are stupid close. Legitimately in this price range, $15. I don't think that there's a single clone that I have smelled yet that is as close to the fragrance that it's cloning. And that's off skin or off paper. When you smell Victorioso Victory, it smells like Invictus Victory. So you have that, that little pop of freshness off the top, that sparkly kind of pink pepper lemon combo. You get that here the exact same as you do in Invictus Victory. That really sweet vanilla tonka combination right off the top into the mid, into the dry down, the exact same here as here. And that, that olibanum that comes through, that little hint of darkness that melts together with all that sweetness, that puff of smoke, the exact same in each one. So legitimately, if you would like a review of Victorioso Victory, you can pretty much watch a review of Invictus Victory. It's that close. You could maybe convince yourself that Invictus Victory comes across a little bit higher quality, kind of. You know, you could maybe try to convince yourself that it has a little more depth to it, but for $15, dollars i i honestly i don't even know like how you get this <laughs> like, I, like how do you make money at that point it's kind of like okay man wow it's that it's that close it's that good i love invictus victory this is pretty much the fragrance that started to turn me into somebody looking forward to Invictus Fragrances, which, you know, it's not been long, Invictus Victory and Victory Elixir, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. So this is not something that I say lightly, like this is great for me. I love the way it smells. This, this is as good for one fourth the price. And you might say to yourself, well, surely, Invictus Victory lasts longer. So that's why it's worth more. It lasts longer. It's a Paco Rabanne, you know, good projection, great longevity, all that stuff. This is as good. So yeah, I've worn Victorioso Victory side by side with Invictus Victory numerous times now. It projects just as well. It lasts just as long. You do, you know, three sprays of this, it'll be there the same amount of time as three sprays of this. And so it, it just, it does everything Invictus Victory does, basically. It's it's pretty wild. <laughs> I would say 90% or more of clone fragrances out there uh, don't really capture in a one-to-one -one basis the fragrance that they're cloning over 90%. That's 90% is a low number. It's definitely more than that. And that's not always a bad thing. As I said, twists. You got a lot of twists out there. Maybe a fragrance smells like this mainly, you know, cloning this fragrance mainly, but it's got a little bit of this fragrance and that fragrance as well. Or they nail the opening, but not quite the dry down or something in the mid is quite 
different from the original. There's usually something like that. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Most clones out there are, you know, 80%, right? 75%, 70%, 90%, 50%, whatever. People will throw out percentages all the time. Like it's almost there, but it's not quite there. This is there. And so I have, as I said, Victorioso and Victorioso Legend coming. I will check those out. Uh, when they arrive, but for $15, this is probably the best one-to-one -one clone that I've smelled possibly ever. It is absurd. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. One thing I would caution with you though, is if you buy this and you do check it out, like as soon as it comes, like I did, if it's not quite a one-to-one, -one, give it a little bit of time. Give it a week or two, go back to it, because that's what I did, and that's when it really just blew me away. Can't wait for Victorioso Victory Elixir <laughs> since they're, like I said, not even trying to hide it. But there we go, uh, Maison Alhambra Victorioso Victory. If you're looking for an alternative to Invictus Victory on the cheap, you will not find a better alternative than this, period. There's not one out there. For 15 bucks, this is as good as you will find. I say that with total confidence. I, I don't think it's possible that you could find something that is somehow less than this, that is as good as this is to smelling like Invictus Victory. So there we go, I am out of here. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.